So hi, it's me, Denny Daniel, of the Museum of Interesting Things, and I'm here with... Misha. Vedant. And they came all the way from New York. Uh, anyway. <laughs> and and they went through the entire museum. It took a week or two, right? Yeah, yeah that was a lot of items. Oh, yeah. um, <laughs> and uh, now they're going to open up one of these two boxes. I've got this one over here, which actually looks uh, lighter than it would be than this one, but it isn't. It's actually heavier than, the, well, actually, no, they're both heavy. Uh, but I've got these two boxes that they're going to open, and I do this like a 40-second street show game. Now, normally, I would pick up the boxes, put them in your lap, and twirl them around until you're crushed. But yeah, I don't think we're gonna do that today, so I'll do that from here. <laughs> this is me mixing up the boxes. Are you guys confused? Excellent, confused. good, because otherwise I would have to crush you with these two boxes, and then we would have a snuff film, which makes much more money on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> but I would make all that money in jail, so it's not really worth much, except maybe cigarettes. Uh, okay, so are you, guys, are you guys ready to pick a box? Excellent, so each one of you pick a box you want to open. You want the small one? Okay, so there you go with the small one, and there's your uh, scalpel, and then uh, I guess I'll put this one this way so that you can cut it, and there's your scalpel. So off you go, go ahead. Oh, at the same time? Okay. Yeah, yeah, at the same time. Just whatever you do, try not to cut each other. Okay. Or me, or my cat. <laughs> Is he in here somewhere? Uh, no. Oh. He's not here, unfortunately. Uh, and I've been staying, taking care of my mom since the pandemic because my dad passed. Oh. So I had to bring the cat there. Oh. Tristan. But he was a star of the show. He used to come out and hang. <laughs> yeah, he was really sweet. Did you live in this apartment? Yes, oh. many years. It's only this past year that I've been going back and forth and visiting my apartment. <laughs> my bad. It's like box cutting etiquette to cut towards, but it's also the only way I can get memories. And don't worry, if you cut her, I've got Civil War surgical tools I can cure her with. There we go. Yeah, and don't worry about silly things like, you know, uh, sterilizing, and you know, like I said, a shot of whiskey and you're fine. Just... Okay. This is like, All right. Should I this pull is... this out or do you want to do I've got an idea. Why don't we turn it upside down and pull the box off it? Okay. Because um, I, I know what it is, and it's very... Rare and interesting. Okay, so pull the box off. Yo, watch out for the, I the know, that's why I'm trying to think of. Uh, go ahead, pull this off okay, like yeah. that. Excellent. And I'll throw that over there. So the device you opened, which, hmm, where's the other parts? Uh, you guys go over there. I don't need any of this, so we'll get rid of it. Uh, but it's how does this open? Yeah, I see that clip and I see this clip. Uh, so let's open that clip. Wow, that's so not opening. <laughs> I think you gotta get rid of the tape first. Yeah, help me get rid of it. Do you have your scissors? Oh, there, there. I need a little scissors. On this one. Uh -huh. Uh, you got rid of your glasses too. <laughs> Stronger than me? Try that. I don't know. I guess I'll give it a try. It's like this. Oh, man. I'm like afraid to break it. That's the... I know, me too. Um... It just seems like too much work. Mm -hmm. Usually things are easy. Uh, my father always used to say, not with your brawn, just with your brain. Okay, so let's see how that one opened and closed and see if there's something I need to do. Do 
you want me to like push it inwards and like, right, you that's what I'm thinking. It? Yeah, okay, hold on. That it needs to be. <laughs> okay, let's do this. Dude! Sweet God! <laughs> oh, yo, no, you, you almost got it, you almost got it. Yeah, you just need a little. Yeah, there you go, okay. Right there, Definitely okay. separated. Yeah. Okay, oh, let's okay, get it back oh. down because it probably wants to lay flat. Holy moly. How did anyone ever do this? Mm -hmm. I think that one slides right off it. So take that off. This goes like that, and okay. So here, let's put it on your so that the humans see it. <laughs> Excellent. Okay. okay. So this is a special record player projector. So there's the projector. It was used with Jam Handy films, and Jam Handy films. So there's the projector for it. And then this was the turntable that went here. Um, Apparently he was smart enough to attach this, or it attaches some way. I don't know if you can see um, how it attaches. Hmm. He definitely has it attached in some way. So it looks like you just slide it up. Yep. There you go. Uh, that is one hell of a record. Yeah, no kidding. Okay, great. Excellent. So that's how it went, and you remember we were ta you were talking about the powerpoints. Um, so you would have the jam handy slides. There was like a thing. Oh, there it is. See that? You put the slides inside there, and it was basically a slide projector. So as you were playing the record, you were watching the slides, and it would say go to slide two, and you'd kind of like move maneuver this to slide two. So it was a projector record player. How crazy is that? So video and audio. Yep, and it was made by the Jam Handy Corporation. Uh, it was called the uh, Explainet. And Jam Handy was owned by Chevrolet, oh. Chevy Cars. and But they had all sorts of different uh, films that they would produce uh, that were just kind of self-help films or manners films or films about all sorts of fun, interesting things, not just cars. Um, but it was a really big thing. This would often be for a salesperson, maybe, also, to kind of give you a demonstration uh, with, with slides. It was your PowerPoint. So this basically was your PowerPoint projector for record and uh, these little slides. So that's really cool. And you were mentioning that you um, worked with PowerPoint slides and yeah, things. Yeah, business school is kind of healthy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, so it's ironic that you would open up exactly the projector that you would have used if you were at NYU in the 1950s. Uh, that would have been what you would have used. Probably. How cool is that? And the people tend to open up things that have to do with them in some sort of way, shape, or form. No pressure. <laughs> so what have you got there? Um, I kind of lost some of it for suspense, also because I didn't want to Smart. take the labels, but <laughs> this is what so it's looked here. like so far. So you opened up 16 millimeter films um, and like the holy grail of films. Look at how many films Nisha opened up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven films. How cool is that? And if uh, so that one is Fireman. These were done by their 16 millimeter films that were done by the Coronet Company, which was very famous in the 1940s and 50s for doing these like educational films that you would often have in schools. Um, and I do a whole show on manners and education. So this one's policemen and that one's firemen because I've done lots of stuff for the Firemen's Museum here in New York. So I got this for my buddy in the Firemen's Museum, be happy. And for the 6th Precinct and the ninth Precinct, which I've done lots of work for, so they'll be happy that I got the policemen. 
So that way you, you're, our policemen here in New York can know what to do if they were alive 50, 60 years ago, 70 years ago. Um, this one is for my mailman because this one is the Postal Service from 1956. So it shows you how the letters went uh, back then. It's really cool. Um, this one is Helpers Who Come to Our House uh, film, uh, 16 millimeter film. So this is everyone from the Milkman uh, to the plumber, to everything. So that's another really cool, gives you an idea of life in the 1950s. Uh, this one is beginning responsibility. Other people's things, and you're in the Museum of Interesting Things. So how could I not get this one? <laughs> it teaches you what you're supposed to do when you're in a place with other people's things. <laughs> Uh, so this is another fantastic manners film. It's a, a show I call Mind Your, Ma Mind Your Manners. Uh, and this one is Beginning Responsibility, Rules in Schools. <laughs> Rules in School, another really cool one from that era. Uh, and it says right there, Cornet Films. Gotcha. So right on top. Um, and then the very last one, uh, Beginning Responsibility, Using Money Wisely. In 1950s, how cool is that? So I'm curious, so curious to know what this one is like. And they, for the students, they give you like a synopsis and everything. In trying to stretch his budget, Tom learns how simple economic facts. So this is perfect for you since you're both business students. Yep. That's really yeah. also absolutely perfect for you to open up. So like I said, people tend to open up things that kind of have to do with them. So another cool bunch. <laughs> Yay! What's that? Yeah. Can you open those or no? Is that like? Yeah. So that's the actual 16 millimeter film. That's the leader. And then he was nice enough to write on each one of them so that. Oh no, although that looks old. That probably was written many years ago. Um, and I have at the Speakeasy, I bring three 16 millimeter projectors. Um, so I go back and forth between the different projectors playing all these films. I'm definitely doing the Manners one again uh, coming up in the next month, maximum two months. Uh, and I'm definitely going to show these. <laughs> so when I show these, you'll be like, I opened it and touched it before Denny. <laughs> How cool is that? So good job. Now you're museum curators. I hope you enjoyed. <laughs> and we'll say bye to the world. Bye, bye world. <laughs>